There are still countries that do not use the full range of demand reduction programs. And uh, I would like to ask, is there any way how uh, UN ODC can uh, promote, uh, for example, substitution treatment in those countries where there is not, the, the, these programs are not implemented? That is uh, an issue which needs to be treated professionally, as, uh, based on scientific and medical analysis, and should not be politicized. Only uh, this way we can achieve uh, some objective. And in cases, as, as you mentioned, when uh, in some countries uh, they're not, uh, they're not uh, in a position to provide adequate, adequate treatment to, uh, to people who are addicted to different kind of drugs, of course our role as UNODC to develop the programs which uh, could help them to develop their own skills, to develop their own national um, capacities, but uh, the ownership remains with the member state. That is a crucial point. Thank you. Would you expect something more from, from Mr. Fedotov as the new head of UNODC and as a Russian to do more on, to, to, to support or to promote substitution treatment in Russia especially? Well, I think that puts Mr. Fedotov in a really difficult position because for any of the heads of these agencies to single out particular countries is very difficult. But there are ways to deal with this. I mean, you can point to the region as one of the places where the HIV epidemic is still growing and it's growing um, in relation to UNODC's mandate, which is uh, injecting drug use. Uh, and in that way, it has to be dealt with. In that way, he can stand alongside uh, Michel Sidibe, the head of UNAIDS. Uh, he can stand alongside uh, the heads of other UN agencies and just be very, very clear that this is not something that should be optional for member states. This is something that has to be done as an obligation if we're going to really meet the Millennium Development Goals if we're going to really uh, begin to halt and reverse the spread of HIV. Uh, the, there's, there's no getting around that. It has to be said forcefully and it has to be said directly. Some experts say that uh, actually it would be also more effective to lay more emphasis on uh, treating the demand side in Russia and uh, introduce new uh, methods to uh, treat the demand side, for example, uh, opiate substitution programs. Возникает вопрос замещения, как вот вы мне сказали, замещения опиатов иными препаратами. Ну, во многом говорят о метадоне. Я должен сказать, что этот опыт мы, конечно, изучаем и могу сказать или оттолкнуться от опыта Соединенных Штатов Америки. То есть мы видим, что эти результаты они клинически не подтверждены каким-то позитивом. It's fantasy. It's sheer fantasy, if not outright mendacity. There is no drug treatment protocol that's been better studied than methadone maintenance treatment, and it's consistently not only performed well in its own terms, but in comparison with other forms of drug treatment, it generally performs better. So the notion that, that the United States is abandoning methadone or doesn't support methadone or is finding that methadone doesn't work is just ludicrous. You cannot go to a U.S. government drug-related website and not find positive mentions of methadone. You will find the links to the studies. Uh, so I suggest that Mr. Ivanov go to the Cochrane Collaboration and read what they've written about, the, about methadone, or that they go to the NIDA webpage in the U.S., or even to the Office of National Drug Control Policy in the U.S., all of which are firmly in favor of methadone. In fact, the only critical problem we have with methadone in the United States, which is acknowledged by all these organizations, is we don't have enough. The problem is that, unfortunately, и не торопится излечаться, излечиваться. Yes, drug users are not staying in line for the government uh, treatment programs and rehabilitation programs, but maybe the question must be why they are not doing this. Maybe they are not uh, in favor of such programs and they need again something else, uh, that uh, there must be other opportunities for them, for example, substitution therapy. Russia is not using the most effective medications or the most effective approach to dealing with their drug problems. Now, UNODC is is kind of a repository of 
good science. It collects information from around the world. It promotes best practice. UNODC should be promoting best practice. And this is best practice. They should be promoting it to Russia. Obviously, they can't dictate what a country does in its national programming to address drug problems. It can't dictate that. But it can certainly use its influence and uh, knowledge to suggest, yes, you should be doing this.